how to find the rule of the inverse function when we've got an x squared and an x term inside the rule of the original function. To find the inverse rule, the first thing we need to do is rewrite the right hand side so we've got x by itself and raised to the power of 1. To do this, we need to complete the square, and so doing this, you're going to get y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 1. And so factorizing this, this is going to equal x plus 1 all squared minus 1. And now we have it in the form we needed, where x is raised to the power of 1 and there's only one x term. And so from here, we just swap the x and y variables. And so doing this, you're going to get x is equal to y plus 1 all squared minus 1. From here, all we do is rearrange this to make y the subject. Doing the algebra, you'll end up with y is equal to one of these two rules. To know which one is the correct one, we look at the domain of the original function. This is from 1 to infinity. This means the range of the inverse function is going to be from 1 to infinity. Therefore, the inverse rule is going to have to be the positive rule, and so this is equal to the square root of x plus 1 minus 1.